the weathering waves has finally hit the 30 million pre-registration mark. I think it's fair to say that we can easily re-roll for the best start now in the game. Now is it worth to re-roll you may be asking? Well that is all really down to you. Maybe you didn't get the character you wanted in the first pause. Then what's to say you can't start fresh and try again? This video is going to tell you whether or not it is going to be worth it to re-roll for the perfect start. Weathering Raves doesn't have a login option. What this means is you are going to have to create a new account for every re-roll you attempt. Salting isn't going to work either if you're wondering. By that I mean having a random decimal point throughout your email so it can be used many times for a re-roll. Example of this can be weatheringreroll at gmail.com and then changing it to weathering.reroll at gmail.com. It takes around 35 to 45 minutes to finish the tutorial to reach the moment you can start pulling. There is no skip button for this, so you will need to do this every time. The rates in the game are pretty low, 0.8% for a five star character. So it might take you even a whole day of re-rolling to get one. And it's a high chance it will be someone you don't want as you will be able to only do roughly 20 to 22 pulls when you unlock Convene, which is what this game calls the summoning system. You are however guaranteed to obtain a five star character within your first 50 pulls. Now we aren't sure how long that will take for free to play players so i don't even think re-rolling every 50 pool will be worth it at all and we also have the the leak from i've done a video on it before but the character selector banners you also have to do that within 50 to 80 pools so again there's no point re-rolling for that anyway how the re-roll method will work if you do decide to do it sadly there is just one method as i mentioned before you will need to prepare a ton of dummy emails so that you can re-roll the re-roll method is you will log into the game with your new email progress 35 to 45 minutes through the tutorial and early story to unlock convene see what you get in for in those 20 to 22 pools if there is nothing you desire from the pools then you will log out of the game and log back in with another the new email and start the process all over again. Next I'll be talking about the exact steps you'll be going through on your playthrough to the point you unlock summons. If you don't want to be spoiled for the start of the game, please go to the shown timestamp on the screen. The prologue acts as a tutorial in this game. As I mentioned earlier, it will take around 35 to 45 minutes to reach the part of unlocking convenes. You just have to follow the main quest, so don't be tempted to explore the map. This will come later, so first you should focus on the main path only. As at first is you'll wake up in a strange place place not knowing how you got there. You will then meet Yang Yang and Chicha soon after. Chase after them and Yang Yang will eventually join your team. After meeting Baizi you will fight against the Crownless. This will be your first true combat test. Once Crownless has been defeated you will have a short talk with Jin Shi's projection. Your next goal is reaching the town of Jin Shou. Whilst hunting monsters for their echoes will be tempting, ignore it for now and focus on reaching the town. When you enter Jin Shou, Chi Chiao will join your team. Continue the main quest and head to the city hall to meet Sanoa. From here you will need to find the Hua Q Academy. Sorry if I butchered that. After talking with Mortify at the Academy, you will do your tutorial pull and obtain Baizu. Now you just need to grab the pre-registration rewards from the mail and start pulling. When you finally unlock the convene, you start you can start to pull. Sadly, the 20 lustrous tides that you have to obtain from the pre-registration rewards can only be used on the novice convene. Character permanent lock convene or weapon permanent convene. So you can forget about re-rolling for the first rate up banner, which should be Ji-Yan. You should do the 20 pulls on the character permanent convene right after unlocking summoning. Your aim is to start with two times five star characters, one from the 20 pulls done on the character permanent convene and the other from the novice convene pity within 50 pulls. Just keep in mind that it might take a lot of tries to get a five star from the initial 20 pulls. There's only a 0.8 chance to pull one. Once you pull someone you wanted, keep playing the game use the lustrous ties you obtain from various missions on the novice convene to reach the 50 pity and obtain your second five star in my opinion don't use our strike to pull on the permanent banners you should only use this currency in the rate up banner the reason i say this because standard pulls are quite easy to come by quite early in the game and the premium pulls aren't really 
common to be getting. What about weapons you may ask? I think summoning for the weapons isn't advised as you can do well with the lower rarity ones, whilst a character can give your account more depth and flexibility, especially that you will need multiple teams to tackle the harder content later down the line. Hopefully you found this video was helpful to you. Are you going to be re-rolling on release day? Make sure to let me know in the comments. Also make sure to follow me over on my Twitch as I'll be streaming all day and all night on the full release of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.